first game, and that is Thursday night. And as always, the NFL puts in a belter, as some people could say, Kansas City against Baltimore. I mean, this is just fireworks. Again, I think we said this last season on the first game of the season. I guess not because it was Lions, but this has potential to be the best game of the year. You look at both teams, you're looking at a Ravens team that now rushing wise is arguably the best rushing team in the league with Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry, assuming both can stay healthy. And obviously Kansas City, who won the Super Bowl last year, have been incredible, have not lost any players, any momentum. They bring back Chris Jones for this year. It is just a game of elite players. It's going to be high emotions. Gentlemen, how do we feel about this game? Yeah, I think it's going to be a, a great, great game. And I really see it going either way. Like, I don't want to commit to one team fully at, like right now. I actually kind of hear, want to hear what both of you have to say about it beforehand. But I think this is a game that it's going to be hard for Baltimore to win, of course, because playing the Chiefs at Arrowhead is not an easy thing to do. And then I also think it's a game that Kansas City could easily lose because we saw them lose at Arrowhead in week one last year to the Lions. So I don't really know for this one, but what I do know is it's a game that is, you know, filled with star studded talent. You just have so many absolute weapons and stars on the field. It's has to be a fun watch. That's that's all I'm thinking. Call me crazy, but I I, obviously, the Chiefs are, are the favorites going into this, but I wouldn't be that surprised if someone had the Ravens as the favorites in this game. Is that to you guys? Is that something crazy to say? Because I don't feel like that's that crazy. I I, yeah. th I think it. I think it's crazy to call the Ravens favorites, but it's not at all crazy to say that the Ravens might win. I, I think it's a it's a close one, yeah. but I think you. It's hard to go into this game and say that the Ravens are favorites because the Chiefs are, you know, reigning Super Bowl champs yeah. and still have Patrick Mahomes and they're at home, but. Picking the underdog in this one is not really picking an underdog. Yeah, I don't think it's crazy at all to say that the Chiefs or the Ravens are favored. Now, I do think the Chiefs are going to win. I'll be the first one to make my prediction. It's so up in the air because the Chiefs, I, I know you said that they didn't lose a lot of pieces, but they did lose Lejarius Sneed, who was yeah, the most important one. piece in their secondary at the majority of last season. They lost Willie Gay also on the defense, but that was replaceable. It's not the end of the world. The offense stayed majority the same. The Ravens lost their defensive coordinator, though, and that's why I'm going to give this game to the Chiefs because the Ravens need some time to adjust to whatever new – and it's not going to be completely new because they hired in-house, but whatever little kinks and changes they need to make, they're going to need that time to adjust, and having a Thursday night game isn't, isn't really going to help, especially because – a lot of training camp is just figuring out who's going to be on the team. So I'm going to go Kansas city here. It'll be a great game. Yeah. I think this is obviously, you know, matched up to be an incredible game. I think it's tough because I think you, you're looking at two teams that are both offensively very high powered, but I think the Ravens are going to be more of a rushing team in this game. Obviously we know, Mahomes and the uh and the Chiefs, you know, their offense air raid wise is incredible. So I think we're gonna be seeing two different style offenses when I think if I'm the Ravens, I'm running the ball a lot because I still think the Chiefs secondary is good. Obviously, you lose a Jerry Sneed, that's huge. Um, but they still have a secondary that's good enough, especially against a Ravens receiving core that's not fantastic. It's good. Um, but you have Zay Flowers, which is kind of the standout guy. Bateman, who they gave a new deal to, who still hasn't stood out. And you guys know how much I loved Bateman coming out of college. Um, but definitely hasn't lived up to his draft pick. So I, that's what what gives me the the most, the hardest kind of time with this game. Because do you think that, you know, a Lamar Jackson, Derrick Henry rushing attack can win this game, which I think it could? Uh, or do you think that it's the Mahomes show? Um, him, Kelsey, you get, you know, you add a guy like Xavier worthy. So it's, it's really tough for me. I'm going to go chiefs as well, as long as it took me to say that, but this game, I think is even when you look at it, I think it will be a game that's won by a stop. I think it could be very high scoring. Um, cause you have two very good defenses, but I'm really curious to see which side of each offense dominates. Maybe the Ravens don't go to the run as much. Um, but that's kind of my thoughts on it. Yeah. I think it's going to realistically 
potentially come down to even who gets the ball first at the start of the game, which sounds crazy to say, but the Ravens, I think goal-wise this season is going to be to run the ball uh, when you have a player like Derrick Henry and their receiving threats. Look, I, I really like Zay Flowers a lot, and I really like Mark Andrews a lot, but there's no denying that they're going to be better off running the ball with Lamar and Henry than throwing the ball with those weapons. So I think if the Ravens can get the ball first, if the Ravens can put up some early points, they could dominate the rest of the game, just time of possession, not let Mahomes get the ball. And we've seen, you know, that maybe gives you a chance of beating the Chiefs. But at the end of the day, your defense has to step up if you want to beat Mahomes. So I'm also going to pick the Chiefs because I think that the Ravens defense will not step up in the way they need to in week one. It's tough to do. The Lions did it last year. I don't think the Ravens' defense is going to be as good this year as the Lions' defense was last year, which was an incredible unit. Uh, so for that reason, I, I am going to go with the Chiefs because I think the Ravens will just have just a bit of a harder time stopping the Chiefs than the other way around.